Hi class, in this video we'll go over some of your chapter 10 homework or chapter 10 quiz questions. So I have a code, um, that's why my voice sounds like this. But I think I like, I like this. This sounds more um, sexy, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, let's get started. Um, so <clears throat> the question I'm asking for what is the firm's um, profit in the short run? Um, now the key, to find the short run profit, the first we're going to do is to find out what is the profit maximizing quantity and what is the profit maximizing prices um, so remember for any company who try, to, who try to maximize profit they will always set where the marginal um, cost equals to marginal revenue right so looking for where the MR equal to MC so this is the margin revenue this is the marginal cost so at $13 that is where the profit is maximized so the profit for this company would just be one to, I mean 228 minus 126 and the answer should be 102. Um, that's the firm's profit in the short run. Now it may also ask you what is the profit in the long run? So whenever you hear profit in the long run for monopolistic competitions, um, you don't even have to read the table anymore because by definition for companies in monopolistic competition, their profit in the long run is always zero. Okay, that's it. All right, so that's a trick question. All right, uh, let's look at another one. So it's, um, if the industry is perfectly competitive, what price would the goods sell for? So again, looking for where the marginal cost equals to marginal revenue, right? So that's gonna be right here. So five and five. Um, and then, so the price for this quantity will be at 10. So that's the answer for this question. Now, it might also ask you, um, what is the short-term profit? So for short-term profit, take your total revenue, manage your total cost. So for short-term profit for this company, it will be zero. And then if asked for long-term profit, again, for companies in monopolistic competition, perfect competition, the long-term profit is always zero, right? So that's always zero. All right, um, let's look at this question here. So you guys are gonna see this question a lot. Um, it will come in two different ways, but to solve for it, you follow the same format. So um, we're looking for, for this question, we're looking for what is the profit or loss for the company. Um, to find the profit or loss, first thing we do, find out where the marginal cost equal to marginal revenue. So that's right there. That's the first we're looking for. And then go down, find the quantity so quantity is 24 and then go back up to your demand curve and find out what the price is so price is going to be 36 so we have price equals to 36 we have the quantity equals to 24. now the reason why this is important because we're looking for profit and then profit profit uh, equals to price minus average total cost and then times quantity right so by knowing this intersection and find out what the price and quantity is we already have the price and quantity so one more step we need to find out what is our average total cost now average total cost equals to average variable cost plus average fixed cost now we have the average variable cost that's already given to you in the question so average variable cost 26 so 26 for the average variable cost um, but we don't have the average fixed cost we can find it because your total fixed cost is 40 your quantity is 24 so the average fixed cost will be just 40 divided by 24 and that's your average fixed cost. So your average total cost in this question here. Um, so 40 divided by 24 plus 26. Let me see how much that is I'm using my calculator on my phone. By the way, I got a new iPhone 15 now. That's right, fancy. <laughs> so 40 divided by 24 plus 26. And that's gonna be 27.66. I'm going to carry four, carry four decimals, okay? So last step, um, I'm going to use 36 minus 
point six 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 seven and then multiply by twenty four and let's see how much this is so thirty six minus twenty seven point six 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 seven times twenty four and this is equal to two hundred and that's the answer okay all right guys so that's how you solve this type of questions always start with by finding out what the price and quantity is now sometimes it may ask you for what is the total cost so for total cost you can go over here use your average total cost times the quantity that's your total cost right so now if you ask it for revenue now revenue equals to price times quantity that's your revenue we have the price we have the quantity so multiply each other that's your revenue okay all right guys so that's it for this chapter um any question let me know good luck bye bye